All right, time to talk about the Ajna or the mind. Again, this is the second triangle. It's pointing down towards the throat. This is the home of conceptualization. It is the home of processing, um, how to do things, breaking things down, okay? So 49% have this undefined, so it's about half and half. Excuse me. So if you have this undefined, there can be a lot um, of overthinking. And also if you have this defined, but you have an unhealthy relationship with it, there can be a lot of overthinking and trying to figure things out. So questions to ask yourself if you find yourself stuck is, am I trying to convince everyone that I am certain? Or do I struggle? Am I struggling with feeling confident in my decision? And if I'm, if you're overanalyzing these things of feeling confident or just trying to do something to prove your certainty to other people, then you are stuck in the not self of this mind. Because again, this is all about conceptualization. And so undefined minds, when you're in a healthy space, you really enjoy learning because you are so very curious. And so you can get into the really the education of things. So another not self mind of this is thinking that you need more certifications or courses or degrees or programs in order to prove that you know enough to do your job. And that's just not true. If you have this undefined, then you're taking in a lot of information. Because again, the gold mine, you're taking in all the ideas and the conceptualizations from the environment around you. And so let things flow out that aren't meant for you. Shake it out and get the gold nuggets of the ideas that are meant for you. So the way I visualize this is that the, the inspirations come through the crown and swirl around as inspirations and then they come down to the ajna to be conceptualized and to be rolled around in your specific way so if you have this undefined then you have a gate somewhere on it that is lit up that is defined if you have this defined but you're watching this to check if you're healthy or unhealthy then um either way it's like your ideas rumble around to get like a polished rock it's like a rock polisher it's going around so you find you mind that gold, it's rough, it comes down to your mind to polish around and get to be bright, shiny gold nugget. And then it comes out of your mouth to express your ideas. So in a healthy way, you're pining, panning for gold, you're letting only the gold nugget come through. In an unhealthy manner, you're taking in all the gunk from the environment with you as well. And so that polished rock is also polished gunk. And so it can come out in a weird way. So for this one specifically, again, let's remember the conceptualization and the ideas. Ask yourself, am I trying to convince everyone that I'm certain? Or am I struggling with feeling confident in my decisions? Am I overthinking a decision and not feeling confident? So those are two ways to understand if you're in that not self. Go back to your strategy and authority to understand what ideas are correct for you and what decision is correct for you because our mind really wants to take over the decision making process. It wants to keep us safe. This is where the not self lives. This is where our inner critic lives is in the mind because it used to be our authority thousands and thousands of years ago. Um, well, hundreds of years ago, thousand years ago to the spleen. But anyway, so it just wants to keep us safe. It doesn't care if you're happy. So if you're overthinking things, go back to your strategy and authority. That's how you know what is correct for you. So now let's move on to the throat.